pretty much the entirety of this track doesn't have walls except like right near the start. So you can do shift boosts pretty much everywhere. And God, like I, I try to just do shift boosts like right over the little corners of the track like that. Yeah, and maybe. Yeah, okay. It's, ugh, like, doing one shift boost once it, it is, like, already kind of tricky. So doing them all over the place, it's like, ugh. Uh, I'm going real slow, so I'll go off these last. But, yeah, like, right over... Like, the place where it's not impossible to do shift boost is, like, on the little corners right when it, like, separates. You can, uh... That's where I, like... Th those are the not impossible shift boosts. Uh, I like to do uh, an MTS off of that. Ah, oh, and I missed because I'm bad. But yeah, like you can use the shoulder buttons to strafe on, uh, off, off and on of the uh, the track, which is optimal. That's what you would want to do if you could do it. I cannot. So like. Just because you can do shift boost pretty much everywhere, it lets you, like, you can go so fast in this level. The world record is literally over a minute faster than my personal best. Just because I, like, I can't do that many shift boosts and maintain that much speed. It's too hard. Dang it! <laughs> and yeah, while it, while it's easier to do shift boosts over the little corners like that, it's still not easy. I don't think I'll go for any like LR shift boosts. I like off the side shift boosts. Just the uh, just little corner ones like that because they're not impossible. But, uh, yeah, so typically over most of, like, uh, like right when the corners start like that, God! Ugh! That, that you would want to do shift boost there. <laughs> and yeah, like, a uh, Gallon Cannon or Gallon Star, uh, it's just better at strafing than Fat Shark. So that's why that's why you would use gallant uh, gallant cannon in this level over fat shark, because it makes it makes shift boosts way way easier. Uh, but if you don't want to do shift boosts because you're like a normal human being, uh, you could use fat shark and his really good boosting to good effect on this level. Because strictly speaking, like fat shark has way way better boost, like best boost in the game. Better than any custom vehicle, better than it being non custom, it's just the best boosting in the game. It's so during these little ah crap. During like down slopes, it's a little easier to do shift boosts. Yeah, and the corners like that. <laughs> shift boost crazy. So once you get boost, take the middle path. And you want to like, you really want to pay attention to like MT boosting, like right after the end of the boost, letting go of A until you can boost again. I'm not going to bother with doing an MTS off of the e -frame. Could do an MTS here, but it's kind of tricky. So yeah, like, on the first lap you go right at the, at the start. On boost laps, you go in the middle. 
And you wouldn't want to waste boost like I did, because otherwise they'll be waiting forever to, uh, oops, like I did there. But, uh, yeah, that's... That's Cosmo Terminal, like... It's a very simple track in how it's laid out. It's all, you know, nice... Like, very, n no sharp turns or anything like that. But because of the, the many possibilities of shift boosting, it's a nightmare to to go really fast on and get a good time.